Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. Let the week begin. Good Monday morning, everybody. Hey, Femi here. What's up? Hope you're having a good one. Mm -mm -mm. Wanted to get on here and say, give uh, my song, singer songwriter friends a little lesson. Sorry about that. Uh, a little lesson on uh, songwriting practice, as it were. All right, that, that goofy little thing I just played, you know, happy Monday morning. Happy Monday. Where did that go? Okay. A little two story. I woke up this morning. It was the first thing. I literally was laying in bed. Bruce, you know, my Yorkie, he's just licking me on the face. Good morning, Daddy, as it were. And um, I start, for some reason or other, I'm laying in bed going, Happy Monday, boy. I just start laughing. I'm like, what the hell is that? It was just something that popped into my head. So I immediately reached over, grabbed my phone, broke out voice memos, you know, voice, voice notes, and put it down on voice notes. Now, you might say, well, why, why would you do that? Well, you know, that's not the kind of song that could, you know, make you any money or, you know, some big artist is going to cut or anything. All right, so here's the deal. It's funny how songs work and where they come from. Yes, you can sit there and you can write, you know, you have some title about, you know, the tree in my mama's yard or whatever, and you could write that. But it's these those weird little things that come to you out of nowhere. Like, I have no idea where that song came. It came, God, the universe, call it what you want. It just came pouring through me. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. Now, funny thing is, you might think, all right, that has no use in the commercial music world. But think about this. Let's say uh, McDonald's or somebody, you know, some big corporation is looking to do a commercial about, uh, they say they're not selling enough coffee, <laughs> or that maybe they're not selling enough Egg McMuffins or something, right? And they want to make a new commercial to attract breakfast customers. They might want something, a stupid little earworm catchy song in, in the back of their commercial. Right? Happy Monday morning. Um, let the week begin. And guess what? If you take that song, record it in such a way that, you know, um, musically, the recording says the same thing the lyrics do, you know, happy, upbeat, ba ba do boo 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 And you put it up, say, on YouTube, you know, SoundCloud, whatever, and you make sure the tags, you know, the tags are the things that tell Google how to search, how to find things when they search. You know, that little, say, you put down there for tags, first of all, the title, happy Monday morning, all is one tag, and then happy as a tag, morning as a tag, uh, Monday as a tag, and then everything that has to do with that thought, uh, coffee, bre uh, breakfast, bacon and eggs, uh, the golden arches, anything that you can think of that has to do with breakfast, drive through, you know, egg, Mc, egg McWhatevers, and you put all that on there. When they're looking for a commercial, uh, when they're looking for a song, <coughs> excuse me, to go along with a commercial, uh, this commercial that they're going to do for about breakfast, right? They're going to come across your, if you tag your song right, they're going to come across your song. They're going to, and it might be some stupid little thing, just like that thing I came up with this morning. Happy Monday morning. That's the perfect piece of music for their commercial. Is it going to be a big radio hit? No. But if it ends up, let me tell you something. If you end up in a McDonald's commercial, you ain't going to worry about getting anybody to cut your songs ever again because you're going to make enough money that you're going to be set for life. So the point is, that stupid little could be your next big success. A uh, couple of ideas that, that, that kind of prove that. Uh, you know who does, uh, for my younger singer-songwriter fans out there, you know who does, uh, who writes like that? Charlie Puth. He puts everything on his phone, literally takes his voice memos from his phone, put when he gets back home, 
puts it into his recording, you know, gear, turns it into a song. As a matter of fact, so much so that his new album, I think, is called Voice Notes or Voice Memos or something like that. Um, anyway, another one is from my older singer-songwriter friends and fans. Remember the song uh, Daydream Believer? Oh, I could fly neath the wings of a bluebird as he sings. A six o'clock alarm will never ring, or whatever the heck the words were. I mean, they were almost almost nonsensical. Well, John, um, oh gosh, what's his name? John, uh, anyway, the one of the singers in, in uh, the Mamas and the Papas, remember them? Anyway, he would he went on a writing retreat, and he had taken a nap, and he woke up and he grabbed his little tape recorder back then. You know, we didn't have cell phones. He grabbed his tape recorder, and the first thing when he he woke up and grabbed his recorder and went, "Well, I could fly neath the wings of the bluebird," she sings. Six o'clock, and I'm gonna never. All right, he hits stop. Goes back to it later on in the day to hear what he had put down when he first woke up. And he's like, "What the hell is that? What does that mean?" He had no idea what it meant, no idea what it was about. Didn't matter. A little while later, he was talking to, uh, what's his face, who produced um, the uh, Monkees, the band The Monkees, and uh, they were looking for something really upbeat. Da, 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 da. And so he played him this little snippet. Oh, I can fly. I need to do anything. What happens? Daydream Believer becomes this big-ass hit for The Monkees. Did he plan, when he wrote that, on it being a big hit for anybody? No, he didn't even know what the hell it meant. It just it came through through him. He put it on his put it on his recorder. There you go. So why do I every morning when I first wake up, regardless of what I'm thinking, whether it's dark, whether it's happy, whether it's sad, I reach over, I grab my voice notes, and I blah 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 blah. Believe me, there's some <laughs> really funny when when I go back and I listen to them. I'm like, what in the hell was I thinking? But there are also some gems in there. And you might want to try doing that. So my tip for the week here, as far as songwriting goes, lessons or as whatever it is, what the hell is that? Oh, oh no, I got a, something's bleeding. Uh oh. Um, anyway, must have picked a skeeter bite. So, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Um, so that's the tip for the week. Keep your phone next to your bed. When you wake up in the morning, hit record on voice memos and put down the first thing that comes to your mind. You will be amazed later on when you go back and listen that something that you thought was completely nonsensical may in fact be the key to your next big success. All right, so that's my thought. It's Monday. I have to get to pitching some songs, maybe writing a little bit. You know, I do what I do. I'm a singer-songwriter, just like you. On that note, God bless. Have a great day. Go write something great. Make some art. And remember, lead. Do what you love. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about success. Do what you love. The success is a byproduct of doing what you love. Life is love. And love is what the world is about. And if you want to make it a better place and be part of the bigger picture, lead with love. All right. Femi out. God bless. I will see you for the next one, and have a great Monday.